Hello everyone, welcome to my long-awaited closet tour. When we bought this house, it had a really strange layout. This whole master suite that we have now was like a garage. This area that I'm in right now was like a pottery room. There was a kiln, but there was a door to outside. And we were gonna maybe like make it a mother-in-law suite. We didn't know what to do since it was such a big space. It could have been like another bedroom, but it connects to like where our master bedroom is. So it felt kind of awkward. So right away I was like, wait, this is the perfect opportunity and probably the only opportunity I will ever have to have this like perfect dream closet. Hannah Montana closet, if you will. So that's what we did and it's finally done. I'm so proud of it. It's like my favorite space and I want to give you a little tour. So right behind me is where you would enter. This is right off of the bathroom, but I don't want to show you that right now. It's like not exactly how I want it yet. So starting off in this corner. This is a plant stand that I thrifted. I have like a whole reel about it on my Instagram, but I thrifted this and I took this stain off and re-stained it. I guess I put more of like a whitewash on it and sanded it. It's not perfect, but I like how it matches everything. Then I got this plant from Lowe's. It's a ficus. I love plants. It's like my favorite way to add color and life to a space. Well, I don't know if the lighting's kind of weird right now, but I knew I wanted to put like a big, full length mirror. So I thought this was like the perfect location. I love this mirror. It's from Home Goods. I like how there's like some gold and some black fixtures kind of throughout my whole house, but especially in this space. All right, moving over to my like accessory jewelry armoire. I don't know what you want to call this. This is like a little console table that I bought from Home Goods. I didn't know what to do with this space again. I couldn't really put any built-ins here and I didn't have like a space I loved for my jewelry. So this is what I ended up with and I love it. I Down here I have baskets. I ideally would like to have a third, but Target doesn't have them anymore. If anyone has one of these baskets from Target, let me know. But I just have like random accessories in there. Same as in here, I have like ribbon. I have hats in here. Here is like my everyday and nice jewelry. I love how this looks with the sun. I think it looks so pretty. This was another thing that I thrifted, this vase, and I have just some eucalyptus in here. And then obviously I have like necklaces and bracelets and all that jazz. On this wall, I have artwork done by my brother. My older brother was a really good artist. And initially I just had one of these here, but as I was kind of like playing around with the space and I knew I wanted to put more of his artwork in my house, I thought it would look so nice to put three of them vertically. And I think it looks really good. I, it's one of my favorite parts of this space. Okay, now I wanna show you all this rug because I love it. I call this my Lottie rug because it looks just like my cat Lottie, even down to like the little blue speckles in it because she has blue eyes. I didn't do that intentionally, but I love it. It's like this like taupey color. It's from Leloy. I got it off of Amazon. I think it was like $70, but I think it really ties everything together. I love it. Now let's look at the built-ins. These are all from Ikea. I have the whole Ikea closet going on. This was the best deal that we found and it was pretty easy. I can say that because I didn't build them. <laughs> Lister and his dad built them, but the whole ordering process was really easy. Here I just have like everyday little throw on jackets, like something I'd wear to work or over like a workout outfit, a lot more casual. And then at the top, I really wanted to maximize storage. So across all of them, I have these little storage bins from Ikea. So I have different things like I don't know, like a memory box. I have my wedding dress in one, which is awesome that I can store that up there. I have my winter clothes stored away, um, travel stuff. I just did a smaller section with drawers because I knew I wanted to hang a majority of my clothes. And I also don't have that many clothes. I know it looks excessive with the closet, but I try to get rid of a lot of things and I try not to consume too much. So I don't have that much stuff, but I knew I wanted things to be like organized. So I have like PJs, sets, um, my like, workout outfits. This is a fun drawer here, I'll show you. These are my bikinis. Love that. Now if we come over here, I have all of my like short dresses and rompers and then like all of my work clothes here. Underneath my dresses, I have all of my like crop tops and bandeau tops. Um, and then I also have skirts here as well. I try to color code everything. It's not perfect, but I think it looks pretty organized. Now here I have like long sleeves, sweaters, button ups. Again, I don't have that much stuff so I didn't really know what to put here, but I have like sets here. Some of them are in the wash, but I love sets. And then these are more of my like normal length t-shirts, if that makes sense. Like they're not crop tops. Um, and then I also have like longer t-shirts that should be hung up. And 
that's pretty much it. Now I want to talk about this little ottoman. I bought this ottoman um, from Goodwill for $20. It was green when I had it. I bought it like a year ago because it was too perfect and I actually had it reupholstered. I made like a little Instagram reel about that so I'll post that after this and you can see the before and after but I love how it turned out. I spent less than 100 bucks on it and it's perfect. On this little corner I have all of my like long dresses. Um, and skirts and pants. Down here I have like my sneakers, my docks, and just kind of my overflow of shoes. I also have my step stool because, spoiler alert, I'm not very tall. <laughs> okay, now this is one of my favorite parts of the closet. These are all my shoes. They are color organized. Um, it's nice too because I can just buy more of these shelves from Ikea if I end up buying more shoes and I can add more. I love this. This is like, I feel like every girl's dream is to have all of your shoes on display and organized. I feel like it's the same for purses. Like you want to have them all on display. So that's kind of how I have them here. My only like really nice purse I feel like is this coach bag that I love. I got for my birthday one year. And then beneath it I have just like my pullovers and hoodies kind of color organized. They're just easy to grab because I wear these all the time. Here I have all my pants and jeans. I have like black, white, and then my lighter denim and my darker denim. And at the very bottom, this is just a little bit with like beach bags, beach hats. Now, over here is my like dream vanity situation. I've always wanted to have my own makeup vanity. And I've had like variations of them in our like first home and like when we first moved here. But this is like what I always dreamt about. I kind of built this myself. I cut these at Home Depot or Lowe's. fit perfectly in this corner. Um, and then this was just Ikea drawers I actually got on Facebook Market for a really good deal. And then I had Lister like actually properly install it because I tried to do it myself and it was way harder than I thought. I love this chair. It's that like crisscross chair from Amazon. I think it was like 60 bucks. It's so comfortable. I love the color of it. And then I have this like makeup light that I also got from Amazon that I love. I also use this area as my desk. This was like, I don't know where I wanted to set up a desk in the house, but this just worked out perfectly. So I have my computer here. This is where I work sometimes, but honestly, I usually kind of work in the living room. This corner I have just like pens and pencils, a picture of my mom from her wedding day, and this cute little flower and vase that my friend Sadie gave me for Valentine's Day. Isn't that so cute? Sadie, if you're watching. All right, in this corner is Lister's side of the closet. I'm not gonna go too in depth. He said he didn't really want to show his side, so. I'll just do a quick overview. Um, he really wanted to add this kind of like acrylic pull-out situation for his ties and watches and all that jazz. I think it's really nice. And then another feature that I think is cool that Ikea has is there's like this pants rack. Do you like the pants rack? Um, they just fall off a lot, but I think that's more Lottie just jumping in there and taking them all down. I wonder if we could get nice. clips for them. Probably yeah. clips, but there's that. He has his stuff hung up. He has this little, these shelves that... That's, those are all my shoes. Yeah, these, <laughs> these are all Lister's shoes. I don't know what you want to put up here, but <laughs> I think he'll figure it out. But anyway, more of his shirts and that is Lister's Corner. And that is my closet. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what your favorite part was in the comments. And let me know what other space you want to see in my house. I definitely need the living room, the kitchen, our bedroom, and my bathroom. I don't know. Let me know what you want to see first and if you liked this video. But that is pretty much it and I will talk to y'all later.